Many things have turned around at Watford and there's good reasons to say that. Three unbeaten, seven points gained out of a possible nine. have seen the Hornets move out of their slump and into better days in the last few weeks. Mill will come here winless in three and still here with an interim boss in Adam Barrett as the search for a permanent head coach continues. For Watford it's two changes from Tuesday's success at Swansea with Aspria and Semma in as Inter Martins are replaced. Four changes for Mill after they were beaten by Blackburn as Wallace, McNamara, Savile and Honeyman are in for Brian, Mitchell, Longman and Amaku as before kick-off Vicarage Rose pays tribute to Bobby Charlton, one of English football's greatest ever players with a minute's applause. Battle of the side in 15th in Watford against the side in 16th in Mirwall coming into the this game today. His bio he's putting himself about into players with his back to goal. Semmer, good play to find Kayembe. Kone. Oh, Lewis ahead of him. First time cross in. We'll head there first. Gakia. Flex to Kayembe. Shot left footed, Bielkowski spills it, Cooper tries to clear and it's gone off a Spreer and Watford remarkably have the lead. Well it's the second time in as many games Yasser Spreer has found the back of the net on home soil and how it's a goal gifted to him by Jake Cooper being slow in clearing the ball. Well it came to Kayembe via and Gaki's deflected pass Kayembe hits it, Bilkowski really should have got down lower to save. Didn't get a hold of it, Cooper had to clear it. He thought he had a lot more time than he did. And it's come at a cost because he cleared it straight into Yasser Espreya, who sensed the unease in Jake Cooper. And is able to give Watford the lead. Not the start to this game that Adam Barrett or Mirwalk were hoping for. Here's now Zian Fleming. Short to Norton Cuffey, first time low cross. For a corner by Hoot. Anywhere will do. Wesley Hoot there. So they aren't just set on trying to get themselves settled into this game. They want to get the equaliser as quickly as they can. As Larry Ismail, the Watford coach, watches on. George Hanneman will deliver this corner. Into the penalty area, right the way in there to Watford head there first. Back into the penalty area, off Lewis, now to Honeyman. In by Donata Bradshaw, flicks on Ness Fleming, and Mill have equalised. Zian Fleming with the telling touch from Bradshaw's flick, and the visitors have equalised at Vicarage Road. And it's come from their most dangerous player in Zian Fleming. Well, it was hit back in. Lewis with the touch out to Honeyman. Donata with the first time ball in. Bradshaw's flick went towards Zian Fleming at the back post, who just turned his head into it and has found it low into the corner of Daniel Backman's goal, who won't be keeping a clean sheet on his century of appearances in the Watford goal, and it's 1-1. Looking to try and come forward here and it does seem as though that there is a little challenge on the spree there from Honeyman Certainly spree is feeling the effects of that as Honeyman just ran into him chance to work Bielkowski here from the Watford point of view goes in there Bielkowski spills it Hoot goes down by McNamara it's a corner couldn't get the shot away, McNamara did just about stand his ground well against the big Wesley Hu. So will be an in-swinging corner, which Ken Semmer will deliver. It's all the way in there, it's a chance and Bielkowski makes a remarkable stop to keep it at 1-1. How on earth Watford have not gone back in front, I don't know. Game still going on in the meantime, Keystroud gives Watford the free kick, Fleming He's doing a little bit too much in his efforts to hold off Semmer and he's shown a yellow card. Well, Watford must have thought 
They'd hit the jackpot in terms of going back in front. Only for Bartosz Bilkowski at point-blank range to make an unbelievable save. Comes in. There's the shot. Nasser Espria already bagged this afternoon. So close to bagging again, but Bartosz Bilkowski had other ideas. Gakia. Nice little return between Gakia and Espria. And Gakia is advancing and going on here into the penalty area. He goes into flex off Harding and has ended up going out for a corner. Well, that could have ended up squeezing into the corner of the goal and has instead trickled out of play for a corner. Positive run by Gakia. Hell bent on going on his own. His shot deflected off Harding. Luckily for Mirwalt, it went out for a corner, not in the goal. Forward and away. Turn in with the header. Kayembe, nice turn, good shot! Managed to get it away. Bilkowski able to push it away. It's now McNamara's just forced into the corner. He's had his wobbly moments in this game as Bartosz Bilkowski, but that wasn't one there. That was one of his more better ones. He's made a two-handed firm stop to keep out Kayembe. There's Norton Cuffey. Ball in low. Bounces is off. Jake Livermore out for a Millwall corner. No sense that they can get themselves in front here. George Saville takes, goes in now, Harding meets it! And Wes Harding puts Millwall into the lead! The second game in a row, he's found the back of the net! And it could be one where he gets all three points for his side! And for the first time since Gary Rowett's departure! Saville's delivery into the penalty area, on the money! Wes Harding coming onto it and heading it past Daniel Backman! As Mill look like they may be coming away from Vicarage Road with all three points in the bag. There's now Saville. Gets it back to the Northern Irishman. Now buying Gakia free kick. Anything now to kill the clock is a bonus for Millwall. So clever there as New and Gakia was just going to be two. Eager to win it off him. Long left as Mir will go in search of a clincher. Saville delivers. Lot on it. Goes right the way in there. Cooper going for it. It's off the crossbar. And then Batman palms it away. Here's now Fleming who hits it. It's a goal kick. Well, that nearly sealed it. Now Watford got away with one there. Saville's delivery was an absolute beauty of a ball in. Cooper batting with Wesley who his first header was up in the air the second one was towards goal and it was actually headed onto his own crossbar by a Watford player it's their time for a fourth goal Watford on the attack loser Martins Loses delivery into Ryovic! Watford's turn to equalise! And maybe now they will get something from this game. That's for the fourth time this season, Mileta Ryovic bags for the Hornets. Martins in to loser. And loser, the Moroccan, got the ball in. It went right the way through to Mileta Ryovic, who was there to head it in beyond Bielkowski and into stoppage time. Watford may, just may, be getting something out of this game. And there is the full-time whistle. Well, both had their moments in this game. Watford took the lead early in the game with Yasser Espria scoring from Jake Cooper's clearance, bouncing off him and going in. Mirwell would then equalise with Zian Fleming heading in from a Bradshaw flick on. They would then go two on that middle. Wes Harden late on would put them in front, but then 
Watford would equalise with Miletta Rajevic, his fourth of the season, giving them a share of the spoils. They are four unbeaten, Mill four without a win. It's full-time here at Vicarage Road, Watford two, Mill two.